Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to all of you. So we're make, today we're making a sake salmon. Sake salmon. Uh, all we need right now is vegetables. For sake salmon, you don't have to be uh, specific on vegetables. You uh, it uh, pwede ho siya sa lahat ng klaseng vegetable. So yung na vegetable na nakita ko sa fridge ko or sa ref ko, eto. Beans, celery, asparagus, carrots, and all we are sake, a soy sauce. This is one for my, uh, na to, sa, sa sauce ko po yan mamaya. And then we need a butter, an onion, garlic, <coughs> green onion, and salmon. Okay, let's go. So right now, ito po, may nito ho siya. Dalawang pan ho yan. Kasi masyadong marami yung aking salmon. So all we need, a butter and an oil. Mix. For the sake. So uunahin ho natin lulutuin is yung isda. Pwedeng, kung pwede ho sabay, pwedeng sabay kaso wala pa akong available na oven. So, ipipito lang. Shared lang natin siya. And then, uh, pagkaprito, yung gulay. So, totally cooking time nito is uh, Kung wala kang oven, 20 minutes. Kung may oven ka, like, I guess, 5, min, uh, 5 to 10 minutes. So, Dry rub na lang po ang gawin ko. Kasi yung dry rub ko. For sake. For sake. Season card po. Season po natin yung salmon. Right here. So I'm going to I'm going to use supposed to be salt and pepper pero dry rub muna. Sake salmon is only a fish. That's seared seared fish with a sake on it. Then she salt and pepper. House cooking at kung sa restaurant po, hindi po yung ganitong ginagawa ko. Huwag po. House cooking lang ho tayo. For sake salmon. Salt. Season with salt. Your fish. And then, pepper. Same thing as sa kabila. All you need is oil and butter. Or you can do olive oil. Doesn't matter. Ako oil and butter. Once it it's so it hit, so pag preto po away. Like there you go. Para yung tangsik po ng mantika is pag ganun. Same thing as sa kabila. Ito siya 
mainit. <laughs> And then, how to make your sake uh, sauce or dressing. So, just only soy sauce. Like, uh, three tablespoons of soy sauce. And sake, one fourth cups of soy sauce. Ah, uh, of sake. That's it. So every time we're doing searing, always put skin first bago po yung laman. So always remember skin first bago po yung laman. So like I said, we don't have any like oven. I use this. So yung ista po natin, luto na sa kabila, lift natin. After 5 minutes, luto na ho to. And then, gawin na ho natin yung salmon. Ay, yung, yung vegetables. So, I'm going to take this. Uh, Magre-rest muna siya. Pagkaluto. Then, yung vegetables. Tapos yung sauce. So right now, this is the fish, the finished fish. Look how beautiful it is, the color. That's good. So, ahun ni na natin, and then, ah, uh, iluto ni na hu natin yung vegetables. So when cooking a salmon, my oven is not available right now. So when cooking a salmon on a uh, burner, four minutes, uh, four to five minutes on the skin, and then three minutes on the bottom. So this one let it rest on a hot surface. And then, ito po. Or, kung saan natin, kung saan natin niluto yung isda, doon natin luluto yung beso po. So, beso po, sigabi, onions, Salt and pepper.
celery. One per teaspoon of garlic. Carrots. Ito ay organic carrot yung maliliit. Lagyan mo natin konting sake. Paragus So ang ginagawa ko po na isasate lang natin to Kaya sa sobrang liit ng pan natin, mamaya ko na po is ilalagay ito ng beans. So yung piaglutuan po natin ng isda. So yun po, add po natin yung soy sauce and sake at the same time. Okay. And then add butter. Kailangan po natin maging thick ang sauce natin. So, kung hindi siya thick, I'm gonna put some more butter on it and stocks para maging thick siya. One video. Tempo, medio, ah, medio thick na siya. So if you like I said kanina, kung hindi yun siya thick, pwede yun natin mag-add ng stocks. Wag lang po tubig, para may may lasa naman po. On a low, uh, a low heat. Para hindi siya masunog. So like I said kanina, just add some yung pieglutuan po natin. Uh, 
uh, add the sake na soy sauce at the same time. Tapos, add butter. Pagka hindi po siya ganun malapat, ito, oh, okay po siya. So, pagka hindi po ganun malapot, add stocks. So, luto na po itong ano, sauce natin. Plating po tayo. Nice, nice. Yan po yung, eh, yan po yung sta, sauce na hinahanap natin. So, let's go to plating. So, sa plating po, pwede po tayong gumamit ng steam rice. Pero usually, gina, uh, guma, ginagamit namin is saffron rice. Got it. Plating po tayo. So, here's our beans. Same thing. Sa the beans. No need for process. No need for uh, blanching it. Like sate, it fits better. Uh, so, uh, sauteing beans. Just only like uh, trim, uh, 2 minutes blanching on the oil. Beans is already done. Uh, wag mo natin overcook yung beans para mas maganda ang nasa. Hmm, sarap. So, plating po tayo. Like I said kanina. So, all we need is the best. This is the rice, steam rice. And then, we do the vegetables on the side. And then the beans. Tapos yung isda po natin. on this top side and then the sauce yeah. so the sauce is gonna be on the top And then, garnish po natin. Parsley. And onion ring. Here's my sake salmon on steam rice. Yeah, we need some nothing. So this is my finished product on sake salmon. I just tweak some of the flavor. Kanina.
Ito pa. So this is our fish. The rice, it's supposed to be... Ah, this one is steam rice. Pero wala pa, hindi po ako gumawa ng uh, saffron rice. So, yun na po. Oops. Thank you po. Thank you for watching.